Hello, good evening. ¿Cómo están? Buenas noches. Hello, hello, good evening. Buenas hello. noches. Buenas noches, bienvenidos. Good evening. Gracias. Good evening. Ok, let's begin. Abiel Salomón. Present, teacher. Thank you. Celia Cristina. Ok. Claudia María. Present. Thank you. Concepción Marina. Present. Thank you. Ok. Diego Nicolás. Present teacher. Thank you. Herbert Giovanni. Present teacher. Thank you. Iris Cristela. No, it's not here. Iris Liliana. Ok. Irma Stephanie. Ok. Jocelyn Selene. Ok. Josué Alejandro. Juan Ramón. Karen Leticia. Present teacher. Thank you. Carla Sofía. Present. Thank you. Marcela María. Ok. Marina Jansi. Present. Thank you. Mirna Lisset. Ok, thank you. Eh, Norma Patricia. Present teacher. Thank you. Rodolfo. No. Sara y Guadalupe. Sí, ella Present. dice. Present, Mirna lo mandó. Ok, very good. Sí, sí, ahí. Stephanie, welcome. Very good, Stephanie. Y veamos Celia. You are here, right? Present teacher. Thank you very much. Welcome, welcome. Muy bien. Eh, les voy a enviar. Gracias, Norma. Juan, welcome. Ahorita mismo le marco hoy. Muy bien. Ok, muy bien. Marcela María, welcome. Estamos acá. Very good, thank you. Ok, miren, les voy a enviar al grupo de WhatsApp eh, un listado de vocabulario. Ahora vamos a usar la estructura would like, que fue la que estuvimos eh, practicando anoche. Y también vamos a estar hablando de problemas específicamente en las impresoras. Entonces, este listadito solo es en inglés pero les va a servir como una guía en el sentido que aquí hay mucho vocabulario que ustedes ya conocen. Entonces, tenerlo les va a hacer como refrescar la, la, los conocimientos que ya tienen. Eh, además, al final, ustedes van a encontrar un listado de verbos, así como veíamos ayer que los verbos son como bien específicos, ¿verdad? Entonces, Acá en este listado de verbos son los verbos que usted okay. va a utilizar a la hora de hablar de estas situaciones técnicas. Aquí ya se los compartí y esto pues en algún momento les va a, a funcionar. Ok, let's begin. Empecemos entonces. Let's go to our manual. We are going to practice first and we are on page 42. Vámonos a la página 42, por favor. What is the most common problem with printers? ¿Quién me dice? What's the most common problem with printers? Atas uh, the paper. Ajá, ¿cómo decimos eso? ¿Cómo decimos? Very good. Uh -huh. Yes. The paper is stock, right? Yeah. Yes, very good. And how often do you use printers? How often do you use printers? Every day. Every day, yes, you are right. In the morning, at noon, in the afternoon, in the evening, you use printers, right? Okay, very good. Thank you very much. Now, now let's move to the conversation. We have here, listen to your teacher, read the conversation, then practice. And in here, we're going to use would like. That is the structure. Let's see. 
This is a conversation between Mike and Marie. Okay? Then it says, Mike Hernandez, IT department. The phone, right? Mike Hernandez, IT department. Hello, Mike. This is Maria Ochoa from accounting. I would like to report a problem with my printer. What is the problem, Ms. Ochoa? It doesn't seem to be working and it's making a strange noise. Is there a message in the control panel? Yes, it says service. Also, there is a red light on the error button. I would like you to come soon to check it. I see. I'll be there right away. Right away means immediately. In this moment, I'll be there right away. Muy bien. ¿Hay alguna palabrita por acá que querramos aclarar? ¿Me comentan? Eh, teacher, cuando, cuando decimos eh, strange noise, ¿verdad? A strange noise. Noise. Yes. Ajá. Es un ruido raro, un ruido extraño. Ok, gracias. Un ruido inusual. Es lo mismo que si usted dice a funny noise. Es el mismo significado. Is there any other word? ¿Tenemos alguna otra palabra o expresión? Ah, es, eh, strange noise. Strange noise. Strange noise es un ruido raro en la impresora. Así que a veces sí, se queda, ¿verdad? O hace ruidos inusuales. A strange noise. ¿Estamos bien ahí? ¿No hay otra palabrita que querramos verificar? Celia put a uh, accounting. Ay, lo siento. Disculpe que no vi el chat. Eh, vamos a ver acá. Ok. Eh, hello, Mike. This is Maria Ochoa from accounting, del departamento contable, de contabilidad. I would like to report a problem with my printer. Okay, let's practice then. Let's listen and then repeat, please. Mike Hernandez, IT department. Can you please repeat? Mike, Mike Hernandez, Mike Hernandez IT, IT department. department. Hello, Mike. This is Maria Ochoa from Aca. I would like to report a problem with my printer. Hello, Hello my, 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 this is Maria Ochoa from Accounting. I would like to report a problem, problem with my, my printer. printer. What is the problem, Ms. Ochoa? What, what is, is the problem, Ms. Ochoa? Ochoa? It doesn't seem to be working and it's making a strange noise. It doesn't, it doesn't seem to be working and it's making a stranger noise. noise. Okay, let's repeat. Strange noise. Strange, strange, strange noise. noise. Muy bien, muy bien. Empieza con, no lleva E. Y vamos con strange noise. Strange noise. Strange noise. Okay. Is there a message in the control panel? Is there a message in the control Yes, it says service. Also, there is a red light on the error button. I would like you to come soon to check it. Yes, it says service. Very good to check it. Very good. I see. I'll be there right away. 
I see. I see. I see. I see. I see. I'll be there right away. Very good. Okay, let's do it the last time and then we role play. Mike Hernandez, IT department. Hello, What is the problem, Ms. Ochoa? It doesn't seem to work again, and Is there a message in the control panel? Yes, yes, it is. Service. Also, it's a red light on the error button. I would like to come to check it. To check. I see. I'll be there right away. Very good. Now you are Mike and I am Maria. Okay, you begin. One, two, three, go. Mike department. Hello, Mike. This is Maria Ochoa from accounting. I would like to report a problem with my printer. What is the problem? It doesn't seem to be working and it's making a strange noise. Is there a message in the panel? Yes, it says service. Also, there is a red light on the error button. I would like you to come soon to check it. I, I see. see. I see. I'll be there right away. I'll be there right away. There right away. Very good. Very good. Okay. Hagámoslo de nuevo. Soy Mike. Ustedes son María. Mike Hernández, IT Department. What is the problem, Ms. Ochoa? Is this it doesn't, doesn't seem to be working. Is there a message in the control panel? Yes, yes, I see. I'll be there right away. Muy bien. Ahora ustedes son Mike y yo soy María la última vez. Okay, one, two, three, go. Maya, Maria, Maria, department. 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 Hello, Mike. This is Maria Ochoa from accounting. I would like to report a problem with my printer. What is the problem? problem? It doesn't seem to be working and it's making a strange noise. Is there a message? Is there a message? Yes, it says service. Also, there is a red light on the error button. I would like you to come soon to check it. I see. I see. I'll, be, I'll, be, I'll be, there right, be there right away. away. Very good. Muy bien, muy bien. Vamos a ver. Tenemos aquí abajo un ejercicio cortito. Complete the sentences below. Use the conversation to help yourself. And then you tell me, number one, I... Would like to report. Ah, very issue. good. I would like to report this issue. Aquí tenemos dos opciones. Podemos decir, I would like, o podemos decir, I'd like, contractado. I'd like to report this issue. And that's the same. Number two, what do we have in number two? I would like, very good. I would like. Fix it. Very good. Muy bien. Would like. Remember. Muy bien. Vamos a ver entonces. Vamos a hacer este ejercicio. Los voy a enviar a los grupos. Así como usualmente hacemos para practicar. Ustedes practican la conversación. Ahí estamos bien. Cuando ya la hayan practicado varias veces, empiezan a sustituir. ¿Verdad? Y entonces vamos con, I would like to report a problem with my computer. Ya no dicen printer. What is the problem, Ms. Ochoa? Um, the screen is frozen. ¿Verdad? Solo eso. Mm -hmm. The screen is frozen. Ese es un ejemplo. Is there a message in the control panel? Y a usted pueden continuar. <coughs> Pero cambia los problemas. Ayer estuvieron trabajando en ellos. ¿Verdad? De manera pues que vamos 
incorporando nueva información a quien no lo escriban, solo lo dicen, lo dicen, lo dicen, lo practican para que vayamos pues, haciendo esa práctica. Solo quiero recordarles acá, mire, en la segunda intervención de Mike, what is the problem with Ochoa? Y me voy al chat. Vamos a ver, tenemos acá, mire, tenemos Mr. que se utiliza para los hombres, ¿verdad? Ahora bien, aquí va, vamos a empezar. Vamos a empezar por esto. Recordamos que cuando aprendemos un idioma, aprendemos la cultura. En esta cultura se consideran jóvenes a, hasta los 18 años. A partir de los 18 años, ya usted ya lo considera un adulto. Entonces, Mr. aplica para un hombre adulto que ya esté casado, soltero. No importa el estado, eh, el estado civil de esta persona. Mister, Mister, Mister. No importa la edad, ¿verdad? Entonces, lo único que usted tiene que utilizar Mister con el apellido o con el nombre completo. Usted dice Mister Peter Hernández o usted dice Mister Hernández. Pero usted no puede decir Mister Peter. Solo con el nombre, ah, uh ah. -uh. No, no se puede. Vamos entonces, eso es para los hombres, sin complicación. Vamos con las mujeres. Para las mujeres tenemos tres opciones. Tenemos Miss, tenemos Missis y tenemos la que tenemos en la conversación, Miss. Esta vibra un poco al final. ¿Cuál es la diferencia? Miss, con doble S, es para una, una muchacha, una mujer que no está casada, está soltera. Ahora, Miss es la excepción porque con Miss usted sí puede decir el nombre. Puede decir Miss Carmen, puede decir Miss Carmen Castillo, o puede decir Miss Castillo. No hay problema. Miss Celia, Miss Stephanie, no hay problema. ¿Ok? Pero es para alguien que esté soltera. Hasta ahí. Esa es la limitante. Vamos entonces con Missis. Misis, m r -S, punto. Misis es para una mujer casada. Ahí, tan, 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 tan. Ahí, misis, ¿ok? Aquí, otra vez, podemos utilizar o el apellido o el nombre completo. Misis, eh, misis Fuentes. O puede decir... Mrs. Roxana Fuentes, o puede decir Mrs. Roxana de Fuentes, si fuera así el nombre, ¿verdad? Entonces, o dice el nombre completo, o dice el apellido, pero usted sabe que es una mujer casada, Mrs. Ahora, eso es cuando usted conoce a las personas, pero cuando usted no las conoce, aquí a los compañeros hay varios que vemos a las compañeras o a la teacher, y usted se imagina que puede estar casada, pero... O, o que tal vez no, pero usted no sabe. No sabe sí. si esa persona está casada, divorciada, separada. Eh, no. no sabemos el estado. En ese caso, que es la mayoría de casos, es cuando utilizamos mis. Porque usted no va a ir y le va a decir, mire, disculpe, ¿usted es casada o es? No le va a ir a preguntar. Porque usted no conoce. Entonces, mis. Y mis, usted lo puede ocupar con el nombre completo o el apellido. Para el caso de la conversación, Miss María Ochoa, Miss Ochoa. ¿Ok? ¿Estamos bien ahí? ¿Yes? Quiere decir que Miss es el que usted más va a utilizar, porque es cuando usted no sabe, ¿verdad? No sabemos ahí. ¿Estamos bien? ¿Podemos continuar? ¿Yes? Ok, very good. Let's go. I'm going to send you to the breakout rooms. Rodolfo, welcome. Yo. Ok, breakout rooms. Vamos entonces, vamos a practicar la conversación y a continuación vamos a sustituir las diferentes situaciones. Veamos acá. Very good. Quiero ver, todos están grupos de tres. Muy bien, muy bien. Solo hay un grupo de dos. Vamos a ver. Ok, 
Muy bien. Solo hay dos grupos de cuatro ahora. Ok, I sent you the invitations. Please click on join. Please click on join. Very good.
or paper stock in print? Uh -huh. El paper stock stock in print. Your your computer and and you try. Uh, uh, hola hola. Vamos nosotros dos. Sí. Uh, this is Rodolfo, English IT department. Hello Rodolfo. Uh, this is Giovanni from the technical. Are we practicing? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Yes. Okay. Teacher, y cuando vamos a reportar el, el problema, eh, digamos en el ejemplo dice making a funny a noise, a strange noise. Mm -hmm. Noise. But, pero making. Eh, se refiere al, al componente, a la máquina. Que está haciendo o sea, un, un ruido el, raro. El making haciendo. es que está haciendo. Sí. Es decir, que si yo, digamos, quiero decir que mi computadora tiene un virus, uh -huh. entonces digo, and it, it's a computer. No. A and, virus. No. And it has a virus. O puede uh, decir, uh, ajá, uh, and it has and a virus. It, and it's it has ahí no va el verbo to be no, no decimos it's solamente it uh, has it's. it has mm -hmm. has has de, 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 tener. de tener yes okay. it has a virus a virus y igual sería si yo digo que se me borró un, un archivo ajá dígame it is as no. Delete file. Ahí, ahí el verbo es, eh, ahí empezamos con en. Delete. Sí, puede decirlo. En there is a, there is a deleted file. Ah. There is. There is a deleted, or there is, I cannot find my files, por ejemplo. Porque ya el decir que el archivo fue borrado, es como el diagnóstico del técnico, ¿verdad? Entonces nosotros decimos como el síntoma, ¿verdad? Es como el problema que nosotros alcanzamos. No encuentro el no archivo. Encuentro. No encuentro el archivo, ajá. Uh -huh. y, y entonces uh -huh. podemos decir, and is uh, and I, a no sorry. Ok, or there is no file. No file. O puede okay. decir, I cannot find my file. Uh -huh. Or my files. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yes. Okay. Good. Sigo con otra aula. Hoy ya ya casi me. Gracias. Lo... Okay. Problema. Ajá, eh, ya dijimos que en mi caso yo diría Diego Pimentel Sales Department Depart Departamento de Ventas Muy y bien. ahí tendría que decir como ustedes sobre, tendría que ser una pregunta o un problema sobre un, problema un, sobre un producto ah, bueno pues se hizo ¿Cómo? mal la, la venta y la compra de importina y, y nos van a, a, a casi y nos van a y nos van a suspender a todos o podría ser como problemas con mi pago o el pago de mi tarjeta de crédito o algo así ajá many problems <risa> <risa> okay entonces sería I would like to report a problem with my car credit With my credit card. Very good. With my credit card. My credit card. Mm -hmm. 
ahí después sería what is is the problem um uh, is eh, Jancy Sandoval o Estefan el, 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 el chico es todo tuyo sería ¿cuál es el problema? No, mis, mis ah, carranza, cariño. Ah, sería mis carranza porque ya le hemos puesto permítame, sí. yo me quedé perdida en lo último Very good. Okay, we practice. Ya están viniendo todos. Let's continue. Let's continue then. Dictation time. Please open your notebooks. Mm -hmm. 
Muy bien. Voy a dejar los micrófonos apagados para evitar interferencia del, del entorno. Vamos a hacer un pequeño dictado. Poquitas, no se preocupen, son poquitas. Y lo que necesito es que presten atención en lo que sucede. Fíjense que cuando nosotros estamos ocupando las frequency adverbs, las eh, always, often, never, si yo digo I never go to the beach y luego usted me quiere decir she, she never, ¿Cómo iría el verbo ahí? Good. Yes. He never goes. Yes. Very good. He never goes. Muy bien, usted lo conjuga. Eso es con las frequency adverbs. Pero con would like, lo que sucede es que ya el verbo, ya no usted no lo, no lo modifica. I would like, eh, I would like, She would like, he would like, y luego usted dice, she would like to send. Lleva la preposición to y el send va sin modificarse. He would like to meet. ¿Ok? Entonces el siguiente verbo va en forma simple, no lleva ese cambio. Vamos entonces, vamos a, a, a tomar otras. Number one. I would like to travel there. I would like to travel there. I would like to travel there. Good. Number two. Alex would like to read a book. Alex would like to read a book. Number I would like to study a lot. I would like to study a lot. I would like to study a lot. Number four. I would like to thank you for the party. I would like to thank you for the party. I would like to thank you for the party. She would like to visit some clients. <clears throat> She would like to visit some clients. <clears throat> She would like to visit some clients. Next, they would like to buy a house. They would like to buy a house. They would like to buy a house. <clears throat> okay, next. We would like to change the car. We would like to change 
the car. Okay. She would like to watch TV. She would like to watch TV. And the last one, he would like to have a new printer. He would like to have a new printer. He would like to have a new printer. Bye. Ready to check? Yes? Okay. Ahora vamos a hacer el ejercicio al revés. Ustedes me dictan a mí y yo lo coloco en el chat. Okay. Juan, number one. I would like to travel beer. I would like to travel to travel beer. there. Okay. There. Here you go. Very good. Ahí está en el chat. Celia number two. Alex would like to read a book. Alex would like to read a book. Very good. Okay. Claudia Maria, number three, please. I would like to study a lot. Okay. I would like to study a lot. Very good. Marcela Maria, number four, please. I would like to thank you for the party. Nice. I would like to thank you for the party. Good. Okay. Karen number five. Karen? No voy a activar el teléfono. Okay. El, el sonido. El número seis, ¿verdad? Yes. Number five. Five. Ah, five. She would like to visit some clients. She would like to visit some clients. Good. Okay, let me see. Diego, number six. Okay, Giovanni, number six. Teacher. Yes. Las disculpas del caso. Lo que pasa es que tengo un internet pésimo ahorita y, y literalmente solo cinco copié. Ok, ok. Thank you very much. Las disculpas. Sí. No, no se preocupe. Seguimos practicando. Muy bien. Vamos a ver. Concepción Marina, could you please help me? Number six. They would like to buy a house. Nice. Good. They would like to buy a house. Very good. Okay, number seven, Jancy. We would like to change the car. We would like to change the car, right? Good. Okay, next, veamos. Uh, Carla Sofia, please. Uh, she would like to watch TV. To watch TV. Very good. Is there any other? Hay una más, ¿verdad? Okay, Rodolfo, can you please? He would like to have a new printer. Yes, he would like to have a new printer. Acá está la última. Okay, ¿cómo nos fue en el dictado de hoy? ¿Todo correcto? Yes. Yes. Super, very good, muy bien. Los felicito y me alegra mucho. Esto es lo que vamos a hacer. Fíjense que les quiero mostrar. Acá estamos en el libro. Estamos en la página 43, page 43. Y tenemos acá el cuadrito, mire. 
Singular, she and he. Plural, they and we. Con estos estamos trabajando. We are going to use would like to to say what you want, especially when making offers and requests. Especialmente cuando hace ofrecimientos y solicitudes, ¿ok? Entonces, estamos con la estructura que han estado utilizando en el dictado. She would like to send the reports today. He'd like to meet the new employees tonight. They would like to speak to a supervisor. We'd like to ship this container now. Ok, ¿qué vamos a hacer entonces? Mire, en primer lugar voy a pasar ya la asistencia para que no los interrumpen unos minutitos. Luego los envío a los breakout rooms. Ahí vamos a tomarnos un minuto, dos minutos y cada uno elabora unos, unas diez oracioncitas así como las que acabamos de dictar. I would like to, she would like to, tienen, las, tienen los duris, tienen las actividades, todo ese vocabulario previo de actividades lo tienen, lo pueden utilizar. Cuando ya tengan sus oraciones, ocho oraciones, cuando ya las tengan, se empiezan a dictar mutuamente y luego verifican, así como lo hacemos acá, en el chat, para que vayamos practicando toda, todos los skills, ¿verdad? Todas las habilidades las vamos practicando ahí. ¿Estamos claros hasta el momento? ¿Yes? ¿Yes? Ok, cool. Yes. Vamos entonces, voy con la asistencia rapidísimo y luego nos vamos a practicar. Vamos a ver. Abiel Salomón. Present teacher. Thank you. Celia Cristina. Present teacher. Thank you. Claudia María. Present. Thank you. Concepción Marina. Present. Thank you. Diego Nicolás. Present. Thank you. Herbert Giovanni. Present teacher. Thank you. Iris Cristela. No, she's not here. Okay. Iris Liliana. No, right. Okay. Irma Stephanie. Present. Thank you. Jocelyn Selene. Present, teacher. Thank you. Josué Alejandro. No, he's not here. Juan Ramón. Present. Yes, thank you very much. Karen Leticia. Present, teacher. Thank you. Eh, Carla Sofía. Present. Thank you. Marcela María. Present. Thank you. Marina Jansi. Present. Thank you. Mirna Lisset. Mirna. Yes. Present. Yes. Thank you very much. Present. Norma Patricia. Present. Thank you. Rodolfo Antonio. Present. Thank you. Saraí Guadalupe. Yes, you are here, right? Sarai. Yes, very good. Muy bien, vamos entonces a practicar. Vamos a ver. Okay, I sent you the, thank you, Sarai. I sent you the invitations. Please click on join. Vamos a ver, Giovanni, ¿con quién estaba trabajando? Con Concepción. Okay, ahorita. Listo.
Are we okay? Are we practicing? Yes, I yes. finished. The... Writing the sentences? Yes. Okay, good. Mirna? You are ready. Ya pueden empezar con el dictado. Mirna? Sí, ya tengo. Ya, ok. Ya hice 10. Ah, muy bien, muy bien. Ok. Saraí sigue con problemas, ¿verdad? De, de conexión. Ok. Creo que sí. Ok. Bueno, entonces la voy a dictar la primera. I would like. ¿Cómo vamos? ¿Cómo vamos con el dictado? Ya estamos sí. con el dictado. Ah, muy bien, muy bien, fabuloso. Ramón, le repite, please. Ajá. Ok. I would like to have more free days. Oh, my goodness. Yes, me too. <laughs> me too. <laughs> so do I. <laughs> Ah, porque no es pregunta. Ah, es cierto. El punto que se pone. Are we okay? ¿Cómo estamos? It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. okay. Very good. Ya están dictando, ya están en el dictado. Sí, pero yes. vamos con la ayuda. Ok, very good. Okay. Digo la mía. Ok. Ah, está okay. Uh, we would like a new house. Oh my God. Repeat, please. We like to live. Así la había puesto yo. Japanese. Vamos Japan. a ver. Ahí en Japanese. Vamos a ocupar mayúscula porque es un nombre propio del lenguaje para ellos, ¿verdad? Y luego sí, vamos sí. con, aquí, mire, vamos a ver. There you go. Japanese. Ok. Ok. Next. Ahí voy con la mía, entonces. Uh -huh. She would like to check emails today. ¿Quién sigue ahora? ¿O la tengo que editar toda yo? No, es, no estoy segura si todos de un solo o vamos a ir uno y uno. No está ahí en uno y uno, así participan todos. Mire, ah. aquí vamos a hacer una pequeña no. corrección. Y We iniciamos con mayúscula. Yeah. We would like to eat pizza. Ahí estamos. Ok, entonces usted va ahora con eh, Stephanie. Uh -huh. I, I would like to hate more. I would like to hate more. Oh, no sé si estoy mal en la pronunciación. ¿Qué lo fue? Uh, ganar bonificaciones. Oh, okay. I would like to earn. Ah. Yeah. Aquí le ayudo, aquí le ayudo, aquí le ayudo. Okay. Okay. Pero ya lo copiaron ellos. I would like to earn bonuses. Okay. I would like to earn bonuses. I would like to earn bonuses. Acá está. Okay. 
Bueno, voy yo. Okay. okay. I would like to change the password. I, eh, la última parte se me, me escuchó cortada. ¿Me lo puede repetir, por favor? Okay. I would like to change the password. Okay, very good. Interesting. To check. Okay. Change, change, change. 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 change.
Very good. Muy bien, muy bien, muy bien. Bueno, terminamos esta práctica y avanzamos. Vamos ahora a hacer eh, una práctica un poco diferente y esto es de Reading Comprehension. Vamos a leer un pequeño artículo. Eh, siempre estamos hablando de printers y siempre estamos utilizando la estructura I would like. So I would like you to please go to your manual In this is page, let me confirm. This is page 44. Open your manuals on page 44. Here we are. Okay. Read about printer qualities and answer the questions below. First, we are going to read only, and we are going to understand what's in the reading. And then we we'll go with the, with the questions. Okay, here we have four different features or characteristics. We are talking about printers. Then we have the color, the resolution, the speed, and the memory, right? Okay, so let's begin with color. Vamos fijándonos si hay palabritas o frases que no son familiares. Y primero vamos a aclarar el vocabulario para que sea más fácil practicar pronunciación, pronunciación cuando ya comprendemos todo el contenido. Let's see, color. Color is important for users who need to print pages for presentations or maps and other pages where color is part of the information. Color printers can also be set to print only in black and white. Color printers are more expensive to operate since they use two ink cartridges, one color and one blank ink that need to be replaced after a certain number of pages. Users who don't have a specific need for color and who print a lot of pages will find a black and white printer cheaper to operate. Muy bien, vamos con este párrafo primero. ¿Estamos bien con este párrafo? ¿Tenemos vocabulario nuevo? What is ink? Ink, tinta. Es la tinta. Ah, ok, ok. Y card, card... Cartridges. Vamos a ver. Cartridges. 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 Los... Very good. Cartridge. Son los cartuchos. los cartuchos sí. de la tinta. Muy bien. I have five more words. Ok, go ahead, go ahead. And, uh, one is expensive. Expensive, caro. A lot of, oh. a lot of money. Ok, and another science. Um, expensive to operate science, they used to work. Ok, since, to, since, to ok. Since. Expensive, okay. let me see where you are. Okay, color printers are more expensive to operate since they since. use two mm -hmm. ink cartridges. Aquí, since eh, hace la función de because, porque ellos usan, okay? Pero okay. since también lo ocupamos cuando hablamos de fechas. I am studying English since February, desde febrero. Ok, mm. también en ese contexto ocupamos since. Ok. Uh, okay. Another, Do you have more? Mm -hmm. Another word, uh, certain. Certain. Uh -huh. Algunos. Certain Algunos. number of pages. Algunos números de página. Oh. Okay. To be replaced after. Puede ser eh, reemplazada después de un cierto número de páginas. Ah, ok. And the last one is cheaper. Cheaper, very good. Cheaper here is the comparative. Then we go with um, who don't have a specific need for color and who print a lot of pages will find a black and white printer cheaper to operate, más barato para operar. Los que tienen que imprimir un montón okay. de páginas, ¿verdad? Más barato. Y aquí, mire, bien importante. Usted tiene, déjeme ver. You have expensive. Let me use the chat. Okay. Very good. We have exp 
expensive. Okay. This is a lot of money. Too much money. Demasiado caro, ¿verdad? Caro, expensive. And then we have, vamos cheap. a ver, cheap. Yeah. That would be kind of the opposite here. Are we okay here? Yes, teacher. Yes, cheap. Thank you. Okay. Very good. Let me see. Okay. And then we have here inexpensive. Inexpensive is the opposite of expensive. Okay. Pero aquí, mire, ¿cuál es la diferencia entre cheap e inexpensive? Porque ambos significan poca cantidad de dinero. La diferencia es que inexpensive, okay. I have here, let me see if I do have, yeah. Okay, y aquí debo de tener el otro marker. Let me see here, there we go. Okay. This is a marker, right? Okay. And this is, let's say, Stadler. Okay, usted sabe la marca, usted conoce la marca, la marca Stadler. Okay, this is $1. Let's imagine this is one dollar and it's a Stadler, Stadler brand. Okay, so this is inexpensive because we have good quality and low price. Okay, now I have here another marker and this is Pajaritos brand. Okay, and this is one dollar. Okay, so I have here bad quality, but low price. You see the difference? The quality is the difference. One dollar, one dollar. Stadler Pajarito, okay? This is going to be used for one month and this is going to be used for one hour and it's done, okay? So that's the difference. Si vemos la diferencia entre cheap and inexpensive, yes? Eh, eh, yes. Es como decir que uno es por el precio y el otro es por calidad. Los dos tienen bajo precio. Los dos cheap, tienen bajo precio, cheap, pero uno tiene mejor calidad. Muy bien. Inexpensive no. tiene buena calidad y bajo precio. Cheap, la calidad es dudosa, no sabemos. Y tiene el, bajo precio. El término aquí es como es chivito. Yes. En, la, <risa> en el inexpensive podríamos decir que es el de las 3B. Ajá. Bueno, bonito y barato. Yes, yes, yes. <risa> ok. <risa> y me van a regañar por haber mencionado marcas ahora. Oh, my Ay. goodness. <risa> ok. <risa> ok, these are just examples. <risa> muy bien, pero sí estamos entonces con los tres conceptos, ¿verdad? Vamos, sí. muy bien. Ok. ¿No hay sí. más vocabulario en color? ¿No? Ok, no. good. Let's continue. Ya vamos a practicar pronunciation. Resolution. Resolution. Esta palabra acá significa algo diferente de lo que significa en el 31 de diciembre New Year's Resolutions. Cuando yo digo, I will be on a diet, y me dura una semana. Ok, New Year's Resolutions son los propósitos de año nuevo. Es la misma palabra, pero en otro contexto. Resolution here, we are talking about like um, the quality of the, of the image, right? Mm -hmm. Let's see here. Print the resolution, the sharpness of text and images on paper is usually measured in dots per inch. ¿Se acuerdan de dot? Gmail.com. Puntos. Yeah? Muy bien. Puntos cuando hablamos de símbolo, ¿verdad? Así se llama, dot. O puede decir, oh my goodness, I have a dot here. Tengo una manchita por acá, ¿verdad? Un puntito, una manchita. Okay. Dot. Dots per inch, DPI. Most inexpensive printers provide sufficient resolution for most purposes at 600 DPI. ¿Tenemos palabritas por acá que sean nuevas? Purposes, ¿cómo estamos con purposes? Mm. Sharpness. 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 Sí. Ok, muy Sharpness. bien. Sí. Ok, sí. vamos a ver. 
sharp. No, yo no tengo el lápiz por acá. Ok, sharp es algo puntudo, algo fino. Entonces, sharpness quiere decir que la calidad del texto es bien clara, es bien nítida, decimos nosotros, ¿verdad? The sharpness sería como el equivalente de la nitidez of text and images on paper, la nitidez de los textos y las imágenes en el papel, ya impreso. Podríamos decir que es la definición, teacher. Sí, 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 sí. Resolución, definición. Ok. okay. It's okay. usually measured in dots per inch. ¿Verdad? Normalmente esta medida o es medida en eh, puntos, digamos, por pulgada. Per inch, por pulgada. Most inexpensive printers provide, bring sufficient, sufficient enough resolution for most purposes. Para múltiples propósitos. Right? At 600 DPI. Estamos bien acá, ¿verdad? Yeah. Okay, good. Speed. What is speed? That's velocity. That's speed. Hay unos printers que ahí va. Du, 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 du. Una hora y solo una página, ¿verdad? Pero hay otros que tienen aquí, ¿verdad? Du. Y ya es todo. Casi que usted imprime un libro y rapidísimo. If you do much printing, the speed of the printer becomes important. La velocidad de la impresión se vuelve, se convierte, becomes important. Inexpensive printers print only about three to six sheets. Sheets, lo decimos con doble E para que no suene corto y no suene a otra cosa. Es sheets, son páginas, hojas, per minute. De tres a seis hojas por minuto. Color printing is slower. Ajá, y cuando son a colores más despacio, ¿verdad? More expensive printers are much faster. Are much faster. Son más rápidos. Are we okay here? Yes? Okay. Okay, now memory. Most printers come with a small amount of memory. For example, one megabyte that can be expanded by the user. Having more than the minimum amount of memory is helpful. Helpful. Vamos a ver. ¿Qué significa? Full. ¿Qué significa esto? No, así es, full. ¿Qué significa full con doble L? Lleno. Lleno, lleno ¿verdad? Entonces, si decimos help full, es lleno de ayuda, ¿verdad? Entonces, es el equivalente sería, es, es eh, having more than minimum, is helpful. O sea, ayuda mucho. Ahora, cuando ya usted lo convierte en un compound noun, que son dos palabras unidas en una sola, Aquí quita una L al final. Es como, por ejemplo, a careful, ¿verdad? Al final ya usted ya, ya lo, lo puede quitar. Ok. It's helpful and faster when printing out pages with large images or tables with lines around them, which the printer treats as a large image. Ok. ¿Estamos bien acá? ¿Tenemos alguna palabrita por acá? Um, amount. Amount, la cantidad. The minimum amount of memory, la, la cantidad mínima de memoria. Having more than the minimum amount of memory, tener más de la cantidad mínima de memoria, ayuda, es útil y más rápido cuando imprimimos páginas con imágenes grandes o tablas, con líneas alrededor de las tablas. Which the printer, las que los, las impresoras, treats as a large image. Las impresoras las consideran una sola imagen grande 
y entonces se tardan más. That's memory. Okay, are we okay with the vocabulary? Yes? Okay, yes, yes. Let's practice pronunciation. Very good. Listen and repeat, please. Color. Color, y vamos, vamos a ir oración por oración y luego lo hacemos juntos. Color is important for users who need to print pages for presentations or maps and other pages where color is part of the information. Let's repeat. Color. Color is important for users who need to print in space for maps and other maps and other pages. Very good. Very good. Color printers can also be set to print only in black and white. Color printer Color printers are more expensive to operate since they use two ink cartridges, one color and one black ink that need to be replaced after a certain number of pages. Color color in one color and one color and one black need to be Users who don't have a specific need for color and who print a lot of pages will find a black and white printer cheaper to operate. User, user who don't have a specific need for color and a lot of print to operate. Very good. Muy bien. Vamos a hacerla de nuevo. Color, antes de seguir avanzando. Y vamos oración por oración porque son largas, ¿verdad? Ya vieron que son largas. Ok. Color is important for users who need to print pages for presentations or maps and other pages where color is part of the information. Color, color is important for users who need pages for information. Color printers can also be set to print only in black and white. Okay, color printers are more expensive to operate since they use two ink cartridges, one color and one blank ink that need to be replaced after a certain number of pages. Of pages, good. Users who don't have a specific need for color and who print a lot of pages will find a black and white printer cheaper to operate. User who Okay, very good. Carla Sofia, léame el párrafo, please. Oh. <laughs> Yes, uh, oh. the color, color. Mm -hmm. Okay. Ah, color is important for users who need to print page, pages, pages for presentation or maps and other page where color pages? is part of the pages. pages. Other pages, pages where color is part of the information. 
uh, color printers can also be set to print only in black and white. Uh, color printers are more expensive to operate since they use two ink I have a lot. cartridges. Cartridges. Cart cartridges. Cart cartridges. Cartridges. Yes, there you go. Cartridges. Cartridges. Cartridges, one color and one black ink that need to be replaced after a certain certain number of pages. Of pages. Of pages. <laughs> Users who don't have a specific need for color and who print a lot of pages will find a black and white printer cheaper to operate. Very good, very good. Rodolfo, could you please? Okay, Claudia Maria, could you please? Sorry, teacher, me había levantado, perdón. Oh, ok, ok, ok. <laughs> Vamos con Claudia María, luego, luego lo, lo incorporo. Ok. Uh, color is important for users who need printer pages for presentations or maps and other pages where color is part of, it, of the information. Color printers can also be set to print only in black and white. Color printers are more ex expensive to operate since they use two ink cart cartridges. Cartridges. Yes. One color and one color and one black ink that need to be replaced after a certain number of pages. Users who don't have a specific <laughs> color and who print a lot of pages will find a black and white printer cheaper to operate. Beautiful, very good. Okay, Rodolfo. Okay, Juan, could you please? Teacher, perdón, el micrófono. Oye, fue uh, el micrófono. Okay, vamos. <laughs> vamos, Rodolfo, y luego va Juan. Okay, vamos. Okay. Color is important for users who need to print pages for presentation or maps and other pages where color is part of the information. Color, printer care, color printers can also be set to print only in black and white. Color printers are more expensive to operate since they, they use two ink cartridges, one color and one black ink that need to be replaced after a cert certain, numbers, certain number certain number of pages user we don't have a users who don't have who users who don't have a specific need for color and who print a lot of pages will, fi will find, find will find a black and white printer cheaper to operate thank you Juan, could you please? Color is important for users who need to print pages for the presentation or maps and other, other pages where color is part of the information. Color printers can also be set to print only in black and white. Color printers are more expensive to operate since they use two ink cartridges, one color and one black ink that need to be replaced after a certain number of patients. Users who do have a specific need to color and who print a lot of patients will find a black and white printer cheaper to operate. Thank you very much. Concepcion Marina, could you please? Color is important for users who need to print pages for presentation or maps and other pages where color is part of the information. Color printers can also be said to print only in black and white. Color printers are more expensive to operate since they use two ink cartridges, one color and one black ink, 
that need to be replaced after a certain number of pages. Users who don't have a specific need for color and who print a lot of pages will find a black and white printer cheaper to operate. Thank you very much. Karen Leticia y después Marcela María. Vamos. Okay. Uh, color. Color is important for user who need to print pages, pages. For, pages for presentation or maps and other pages where color is part of the information. Color printer can also be set to print only in black and white. Color printer are more expensive to operate since they since since, since they use to in cartridge. cartridges Cat cartridges cartridges very good one color and oh, one black ink that need to be replaced after a certain number of pages user who don't have a specific need for color and who print a lot of pages will find a black we'll find, and white will find will find a black and white printer shipper to operate very good thank you very much color is important for users who need to print pages for presentation of map and other pages where color is part of the information. Color printers, printers can also be set to print only in black and white. Color printers are more expensive to operate since the, they used to in car, cartridges. 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 One color and one color uh, and one black ink that need to be replaced after a certain number of pages. Users who don't have a specific need for color and who printed a lot of pages will find a uh, black and white printer cheaper to operate. Cheaper to operate. Thank you very much. Mirna Lisset, could you please? Color is import for user who need to print page for presentation. Pages, pages, pages. Pages for presentation or maps and other pages where colors is part of the information. Color printer can also be set to print only in black and white. Color printer are more expensive to operate since they use to in cartridges. Cartridges, very good. Cartridges. One color and one black, black ink that need to be replaced after a certain Number and number. Mm -hmm. Very good. User who don't have a specific need a for specific color. specific need. And a specific need for color who print who prints a lot of pages will find will find will find a black and white printer sharper to operate. Very good. Thank you very much. Jancy, could you please? Y después vamos con Celia. ¿Yancy? Ok, Celia, could you please begin? Color is important for use who need for users. For users who, need, users who need to print days for pages, presentation or pages, maps, pages, pages for presentations or maps and other pages where color is part of the information. Color printers can also be set to print only in black, set 
to print only in black or in white. In white, black Color and white. In white, black and white. Color printers are more expensive to operate size. Since? They use to, since they use to in cartridge? Cartridges. As you say, cartridges. 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 One color and one black ink that need to be replaced after a cer certain number of pages. Users who don't have a specific need for color and who print a lot of pages will find uh, a black and white in white, printer black and white, in white, black and white, printer cheaper to operate. Yes, very good. Okay, muy bien. Eh, ya si tenía problema, verdad? Técnico. Pero no aquí sé estoy, si... no, no ah, okay, que... very good. Yo okay. pensé que estaba hablando y no. Ay, mire, lo siento. Okay, go ahead, okay. please. Okay. Color is important for users who need to find for users. Pages. For users, I'm sorry. Permítame. Sí. Permítame, solo. Ajá. For users who need to print pages. For presentation or maths and other pages where colors is part of the information. But you know, yeah. Color printer can also be said to print only in black and white. Color printer are more expensive to operate since they use to in cartridges. 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 Yes. Good. And color and, and one black ink. Okay, one uh, color and one One black color ink. and what? Uh, one color and what black ink, black ink. Yes. Do not need to be replaced after some time number of space. User who do have a specific need for color and who print a lot of space will find a black and white. Pretty cheaper to operate. Thank you very much. Very good. Aviel, could you please? Y después va Stephanie. The color import for us to need to print pages. Print pages. To print pages for presentation or mark. In pages. In other pages. Okay, go ahead. The color import in the or the information. Color printing can also be said to print only in black, in gray. Color prints are more expensive to operate. Sick we said to a carding. cartridges. Cartridges. One color in uh, one black ink. ink. They need to be reacts, replaced. Re replaced. Uh, they a uh, certain number of pages. Of pages. Okay. Use it. Use it to don't. Users who don't have. Use it to hot ha, don't have a uh, specific near for color in word plan and who lot, print and who print a lot of pages will find a black we find we find a black uh, with white why try a shepherd to operate operate to operate. operate thank you very much okay yes. stephanie and then giovanni please stephanie lo siento okay okay <laughs> ahorita 
Color is important. For instance, we need to print pages for presentation or maths and under pages where color is part of the information. Color printers can also be city print only black and white. Color printers, printers are more expensive, expensive. to operate uh -huh. expensive to operate since the use to to in cartridges. 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 Yes. One color and one black in that need to be replaced after a certain number or all pages. User what to hate to users who don't have users who don't have a specific a specific need for color and would print a lot of pages with fill and black and white printer cheaper to operate. Thank you very much. Okay, vamos. Giovanni y después vamos con Diego. ¿Me escucha? Sí. Eh, color. Color is important for user who need to print page for presentation or maps and other page where color is part of the information. Color printers can also be set to print only in black and white. Uh, color printers are more expensive to operate since, since yes. they use to ink cartridge. cartridges. Uh, one co what cartridges, one color and one black ink that need to be replaced Replace. after a, a certain a number of page. Okay. User who don't have a specific need for color and who print a lot of page Pages. will find, 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 find yes. will find a black and white printer cheaper Keeper? to operate. Thank you cheaper. very much. Yes. Okay, Diego and Norma, okay? Let's do it. Diego primero y Norma terminamos. Okay, Norma, could you please? Color is important thing for who need to think to think change for presentation and next in other day where color is first or the information. Color printers call can also be can also be seen only in the black and white. Color printers and more expensive to operate since they put to link card 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 one color one color on black in that need to be replaced after a certain number of days. Uses who don't have a specific need for color and who paint a lot of days will find a bag will find white will find a bag in white interchanger to operate. To operate. Thank you very to much. Operate. Thank you very much. Jocelyn Selene, could, could you please? Thank you, teacher. Thanks to you. Color. Color is important for users who need to print pages for presentation or maps and other pages. Their color is part of the information. Color printer can also be seen to print set, on set. Uh, color printers can also be set. Set okay. es sentarse. Set es ajustar. Set. Yes. To print only in black and white. Color printers are more are more expensive to operate. To since operate. They operate since they use two ink cartridges, yes. one color and one black ink that 
need to be replaced. Yes. Replaced after a, after a certain number of pages. User who don't have a specific need for color and who print a lot of pages with fine a black and white printer chippers to operate. Beautiful, operate. yes, to operate, very good. Bueno, muchas gracias a todos. Déjenme, vamos ahorita al aula principal porque les quiero explicar que esta vez para la lectura no los envié a los grupos porque necesitaba que estuviéramos realmente recibiendo una retroalimentación bien específica. Por eso es que estuvimos uno por uno. En este momento hemos terminado de trabajar el párrafo más complejo. El día de mañana continuamos con la lectura, porque esta lectura cada uno de ustedes mañana la van a leer de corrido, como que están leyendo español. Así, corridito, toda la lectura. Así es que mañana los quiero preparaditos con una su un subacito con agua aquí, porque lo voy a hacer hablar mucho, 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 para que practiquemos lectura. Son, eh, si ustedes se fijan, son, las conversaciones son bien cortas y no nos permiten extendernos como lo hemos hecho ahora. Pero es importante que practiquemos de esta manera, porque vamos con entonación, puntuación, pronunciación, y es importante para su fluidez. Así es que ya les aviso, mañana preparaditos porque vamos a seguir con la lectura y con el otro contenido, ¿ok? Vamos entonces, la última asistencia y luego nos vamos a la plataforma a hacer la tarea. Ok, vamos. Abiel Salomón. Present teacher. Thank you. Celia Cristina. Present teacher. Thank you. Claudia María. Present. Thank you. Concepción Marina. Present. Thank you. Diego Nicolás. Present. Thank you. Herbert Giovanni. Present teacher. Thank you. Iris Cristela. No, no se nos conectó ahora. Eh, Iris Liliana. Ok. Irma Stephanie. Present. Thank you. Jocelyn Selene. Present. Thank you. Josué Alejandro. No, he's not here. Juan Ramón. Present. Thank you. Eh, Karen Leticia. Present teacher. Thank you. Carla Sofía. Present. Thank you. Marcela María. Present. Thank you. Marina Jansi. Present. Thank you. Mirna Lisset. Ok. Eh, Norma Patricia. Present. Thank you. Rodolfo Antonio. Present. Thank you, Rodolfo. Sara y Guadalupe. Ok. Very good. Muy bien. Vamos entonces. <coughs> Thank you very much. Thank you, Mirna. Thank you. Aquí le marco. Okay. Thank you very much. Let's go to the platform and see you tomorrow. Have a good night. Good Thank night. you. Have a good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Bye, bye bye. Let's go to the platform.